In this video, we'll show you the quick and easy way to change a webbing on your True Blue without even having to take it off the wall. First, grab your webbing replacement kit, take out that Allen key, the shackle pin, and the replacement webbing. Also grab a screwdriver, and then you can place all those things on your person for when you're about to climb up the wall. Lastly, attach the new webbing to your gear loop. Next, clip into the auto belay, climb up to the anchor point, and anchor yourself off so that you're hands free. Finally, unclip from the auto belay and ensure you're in a comfortable position. Grab the screwdriver out of your chalk bag and carefully remove the nozzle clip like this. Once removed, insert that nozzle clip into the center of the nozzle and you can even use it to pry off the nozzle pieces. Next, you're gonna pull out the entire webbing, including the short webbing loop, and use your screwdriver to pin the loop to prevent it from being able to retract back into the device. Unscrew the shackle pin and remove the old webbing. It's important to use a new shackle pin, which comes in your webbing replacement kit. Fit the loop of the new webbing in the shackle and make sure the shackle loop is fitted to the webbing loop. Attach the new pin and use your Allen key to hand tighten. For detailed instructions on tightening, refer to your operator manual. When you finish tightening, you wanna make sure you can see at least one thread of the pin from the outside of the shackle. Remove the screwdriver and allow the webbing to slowly retract while maintaining alignment and tension with the webbing. Pull out a short bit of webbing and allow it to retract back. And you're gonna to wanna to repeat that process two to three times to ensure that the webbing is wound firmly onto the drum. Once the webbing is fully retracted, refit the nozzle assembly and finish by reattaching the nozzle clip. And that's it, you're ready to put your True Blue back in action.